Hey guys, welcome back to Crafty World. Today I am going to show you guys three back to school notebook ideas. So you guys can turn regular boring composition books or notebook into something cool and unique. So let's get started. The main thing you're going to be needing for this craft or DIYs are notebooks or composition books. You're going to need three of them. If you're going to do all three ideas in this video, but if you want to do one, that's fine. You just only need one. But one composition book or notebook per, like, cover DIY. So, yeah. The first notebook idea is going to be, like, kind of ocean theme, mermaid theme. So, what you're going to be needing for... This ocean theme, mermaid theme notebook cover idea is a composition book or notebook. Some water, like scrapbook paper or like paper. So I made these. I used paint, I used these paint brushes, you squeeze here, and the paint comes out, and then you could paint, so I just painted some dry brush technique, this is the dry brush technique, you don't use that much water, you just paint it on. <clears throat> And that worked out pretty well. And then I took some markers and I drew some water waves kind of lines. And I wanted this to say mermazing. So I made a little sign that says Mermazing. And I also made a little tail, mermaid tail. I just drew <clears throat> out a mermaid tail, painted it, and added some glitter. So, yeah, first you need to take your covers or, in my case, water kind of design on paper and a glue stick. And take your composition book or notebook and start applying the glue on. And you can use regular school glue if you want. But I think this is easier. Then take your notebook cover and just tape it and, and just rub it 
rub all the air pockets out and I wanted a black trim or I wanted this trim of my composition book so I didn't tape over it but you definitely have the choice of taping over it if you do not like this trim or white black trim on your composition book but I like that so I'm gonna keep it just want to smooth it out then take your scissors and cut of the excess paper off You would totally just keep the strip or the excess paper and just fold it like that, but I decided to cut the excess paper off. And repeat this for the other side. Take your glue stick, rub a generous amount on the cover because you want it to stay the whole year instead of lasting for like a day or two and then falling off. So be generous with the glue. Same thing for, I did the same thing for, for the front. I repeated on the back since I wanted this little black trim. I didn't cover it. And if you don't want to make your own water paper design, you could just get some water scrapbook paper and for this side, I'm just showing you guys that you do not have to cut it. You can just fold it. So for this the back, I am folding it on like this. So you don't have to cut it. And I think this turned out better than the front. But yeah. And then take your sign. I decided we're amazing and then decide where you want that and then take your mermaid tail that you made and decide where you want to put it I think I want it a bit like this so I am taking my mermaid tail that I made and just gluing it where I want it I want it on the corner. Press it on firmly because you do not want this falling off. And then take your mermazing or whatever word you decided to do and Stick it wherever you want. I want, I think I want it here. And then firmly press it on. And there you have your composition notebook idea number one. And I think it turned out great. Here's the back. I think it turned out great. It was just a regular boring composition book like this one. 
And this is the before. And this is the after. I think it turned out amazing. Or should I say mermazing? <laughs> so that's notebook idea number one. And for the second one, I'm taking another composition book that I want to DIY work make into something epic and unique so the things you'll be needing for this notebook idea or notebook idea number two you'll need some paper but i took a yellow marker and I just dot dotted the marker all over the page like little dots and then I want this to be one of like one of those phone cases where there's glitter and then the glitter moves around but this is not really a liquid one this is just like a dry version of that so, cut out a star shape on a piece of paper and cut it out. Cut two of those and cut the middle out of one of them. And you have the option of coloring it, but I didn't want to cover the back. But I wanted to cover color this part. And then... You also need a clear star shape. I don't think you can see that, but it's clear. I just took a glitter, clear plastic from a glitter box and I traced a star shape. I used this to trace a star shape. Or you could just draw a star freehand, but I think that looks better. So, and then you'll need glue and scissors. So it's the base, basically the same thing as the mermaiding one. Just take your glue generously. Spread it on the composition book cover or notebook cover. Because you do not want this falling off. Then take your paper. and stick it on like so and you have the option of cutting it or just folding it the other side and gluing it there in my opinion folding it and then gluing it turns out the best it looks neater than just cutting the excess off and repeat that for the back do the same thing as you did in the front generously spreading 
the glue on the notebook. Then take your paper and place it on the cover. Getting all the air bubbles out. Then folding it over, creasing it. Glue it like this, and voila. And it is a little bit see-through. You can kind of you can see the composition book behind the paper. You can also take another sheet of paper, place it on the composition book, and then take your paper with the the design on it and then placing it on top but it's fine but I think it's fine then take your stars and assemble it take your clear packaging clear star and your star with the middle cut out. Just assemble it like so. Move it around. Make sure it covers everything. Then take some clear tape and tape it on. Make sure there's no gaps for the glitter to escape and fall out. Once you're done, take your star with the middle knot cut out, place it like this. And tape the white or the star with the middle knot cut out on to the the star with the clear star taped on it and make sure there are no gaps again for the glitter to escape So it's like this, 
like a little pouch. Make sure you leave an opening to put the glitter inside it. Don't get carried away and tape all the sides of the star with tape. Then you won't have an opening to put your glitter in. but left an opening for the glitter to go in. Take your glitter, choose any color you want. I'm using gold and pour it in. After you pour, put your glitter in, seal all the sides. Seal any sides you didn't tape before playing with it. And you just have to be careful because the glitter might come out. And you're done with the star. When you're done with the star, tape it on your composition notebook you could tape it or glue it and there you have it this is a great thing to have in class when you're bored you could just play with it and make sure you seal the star even more because you do not want it to leak and the glitter will fall out and then you will get in trouble but you just need to seal it. Seal it, and then there you have it.
This is a really cool notebook to have. And you'll probably be the only one who has it. This is notebook idea number two. And now it's time for notebook idea number three. So take a regular composition book. A paper that you want to cover the composition book with. I'm using just regular computer paper and I use the same paint brush but this time I used water I dipped it in water and then just like gently tapped it like this and it created this really cool like almost like a raindrop effect so I'm going to use this to cover it. And this last idea for your notebook or composition book is a liquid or like a lava lamp kind of thing. So you need a little pack, like Ziploc bag that you know won't leak. Just to make sure I sealed the whole entire bag with tape. And this is going to be like a candy kind of notebook. So I made this little like <laughs> candy thingy, wrapper thingy my bobbers to go on the side of it. But first of all, you need to glue the cover on. Just like the first two. Generously spread your glue on your composition book and take your paper that you want to cover it with, lay it on top. Make sure there are no air bubbles. You can use the fold technique or the cutting technique. I found that the fold technique works better. Fold, crease it, and then glue it. Like so, repeat the same thing for the back. Take your little Ziploc bag type thing and take some oil this is just regular vegetable oil and then take some water and dye the water whatever color you want it I decided purple you can either use purple food coloring or use blue and red mixed together that will create a purple. Take your Ziploc bag, open it up, pour your colored water in, and pour your oil, vegetable oil in. And as you can see, the water, the oil is lighter than water, so it will float on top. Zip it up and use tape to secure it so the water does not leak out of the opening you zipped up. Just secure that with tape. And it's kind of like a lava lamp. It's so cool. Take that, decide where you want to put it.
And for this, you have to make sure that it's not leaking. Make sure all the sides are sealed up. Make sure it's not leaking or anything. That would be bad. Tape it on your composition book or notebook. Also remember to tape this like little wrapper thing. <laughs> 